Serious what are some sneaky ways to scare burglars slash thieves breaking into your house or garage in the middle of the night if you don't have any guns? Say out loud, I'm not alone, I'm armed, and police are on their way. Even if you aren't, that will be enough to dissuade most would-be thieves. Most people don't want to fight with you. Only 7% of all home invasions involve a weapon. The vast majority of them don't even occur when the home ER winner is home. When someone tries to set about with that type of crime, they are not looking for a fight. They want to get an easy score. Any kind of declaration that you're willing to fight and not afraid will discourage all but the most serious criminals. I cop once told me, if they're breaking in at night, when they know you're home, they're probably not doing it to steal something. All the cops I've known echoed that sentiment. Burglars who break in during the daylight or vacation are just looking to take your stuff. People who break in while you're asleep know your home and are probably betting on it. Be very afraid of people willing to break in at night they are entirely the reason I have a revolver in my bedroom. This is more of a deterrent than anything, but my local news station a year or so ago had a segment where they interviewed some inmates in prison. They were mostly repeat breaking and entering offenders or similar. I forget the whole thing, but the ones that stuck out to me were less than 10% were deterred by motion activated lighting or lights on in the house. Most of the times, they cased the target house new when the home ER when the neighbors were home so nobody would notice when the house lights turned on. 25% would be deterred by those protected by signs. The main deterrent was dogs. I think the report said about 80% of the inmates interviewed would call off the attempted break-in if it was apparent there was a dog. Of course, this should be taken with a grain of salt because you don't know how honest they're being, but I always found it interesting. Guess I'm safe. German Shepherd, three beagle mixes, a hound mix, and collie. Shepherd is very protective. Best one I ever heard was this old couple had it planned out chick. She wakes hubby whispers she hears sounds in the house. He sits up, hears same and says loudly who's there. Then, pass me the gun madge. Top draw. This apparently worked, and the intruder took off as she called police. Also, those little stick on domes that are replica cameras are a good deterrent. Ask your neighbors for their phone number if possible, and explain you live alone with granny. Unless your neighbors are creeps. Don't ask for creeps numbers. But it's good to be able to call someone close if you're afraid. My neighbors became my best friends. I've lived alone and more recently with my son most of my life. I've only once called the police when I was afraid and I actually had an attempted break-in. In that event, my dog saved me. But otherwise, I've been lucky. Try not to let fear get you though. Be aware, but not on edge. Hope all goes well. Well, if you want to scare them, I'd set up your house in the creepiest way possible. Use orange plug-in night lights, and make sure they aren't too bright. That sets the scene. If you have a Google Home, or Alexa or Siri, or whatever, tell her to play low soft white noise to make static, like a camera or speaker going on and off, quiet enough not to wake you up, but loud enough to where they hear it. Next part, tie yarn across windows and doors near the floor. And a lot of it too. They might trip, and if they try to jump over it, they'll make a lot of noise. Set up pictures of eyes strategically placed, so it looks like people looking at them in the dark. Put bubble wrap under the rugs, so that when they step on it, if they get past the yarn it'll make tons of noise. If that doesn't make them nope the frick out, I don't know what will. Oh, and be sure to get a camera, so you can laugh at the guy freaking out point L. A big dog would be really good, but owning a pet is a serious commitment. A big dog requires more space, exercise, food etc. But you also get a best friend. Other than that some motion sensor lights are good. Might want to trim some bushes or tree branches for more visibility and light. It is much harder for a burglar to sneak up to a house if the outdoor space is wide open and brightly lit. People in the house can see you. People on the street can see you. If they have a dog he can see you etc. They want to sneak up on a house that is dark and has hiding spots. I don't know just how bad the crime is where you are, but predators usually go after the easiest looking target. If they see a big barking dog, auto lights and no place to hide they will probably look somewhere else. Hope this helps. I have a dog, and he seems to be a pretty effective deterrent, until you see how timid he actually is. But he barks like a badass. 
Also if you're in the US, and on a budget, Dollar Tree used to have these door window sensors that beep really loudly, when they are separated. One piece attaches to the door frame and the other piece attaches to the door, so when the door opens they get pulled apart and they beep. They work pretty well, if you can't afford more, but I would invest in some command tape, to hold them on the door frame. The tape they come with falls off after a while, and then you think you have a burglar when you don't. TLDR, low budget option. Dalix a friend of mine had them on her doors and windows, when she lived in Philly. Those things seemed pretty legit. Get yourself a large and heavy flashlight, in talking about the kinds, that are the size of your forearm, and made of pure steel. It can blind them at any range less than 50 feet, and makes a great club for self-defense. Also learn how to say something threatening in foreign intimidating sounding languages. Hearing a threat is one thing, hearing something you can't understand, but recognize as a threat is another. Dean Mutterai Steen Hamster, and Dean Vader reached we Johannes Beeren. Jets jet, odorich word de chines we eats mal vespertin. Rebecca, get me my shotgun. Works even if you live alone, and don't have a shotgun. I've always wondered what the odds were of a burglar just shooting into the light. Make a loud phone call to the police, and make sure they can hear you, before you even think about confronting them. Or call the police, and don't confront them? It would honestly be better to call the cops and lock yourself in a room hide, until they can get there. Confronting them is likely to get you hurt or killed, especially if they see you don't look threatening or intimidating. Keep something with you for self-defense in case confrontation is unavoidable, but still. EI never said to confront them, just that the first thing to do, is make sure to blatantly call the police, provided they are safe to- Staying away from confrontation, is the best defense. I would use motion detecting lights, and get an alarm system. Motion detector trips flooding the room with rapidly pulsing strobe light carnival music plays over the alarm system. Hash welcome to the circus of value. Ahahahaha. A motorized patriot would also get the job done. Vengeance is mine saith the prophet. When you said carnival, for whatever reason my mind went with the Brazilian parade type carnival, so I'm picturing a thief breaking into a garage, when a disco ball and strobe lights drop down, and the Wenger bus's comment starts blasting. Space Jam is also an appropriate choice there. Cannot remember where I heard this, or when. Go to a thrift shop and find a large pair of old well used work boots. Keep them next to the front door. It will look like a large male lives there that may be in great shape, if the boots are all beat up, good luck hope all works the best for you. Pretty good idea, plus it might seem, like they are home as well. Until someone steals the boots. Put a jack in the box in the boots to hash 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 with them. Or some fireworks rigged to a sensor. Dude this is reddit you can swear. Inside or outside the front door. A very bright flashlight think 1000 plus lumens with lithium batteries is a much better force multiplier than you might think. A large amount of light between you and them in an otherwise dark area makes it very difficult to track exactly where you are, or what you're doing with your other hand, which can be dialing a phone, or eddying a blunt weapon. Unfortunately a serious attacker isn't going to be dissuaded by any tips or tricks short of force. If you are in a country that denies your natural right to defend yourself, the best you can do, is delaying and dissuasion tactics. I've joked about this, before with my wife, but it has led me to believe it may actually be effective in our room, I have a spray bottle filled with Halloween prop blood. Upon hearing a potential burglar, I'm to spray myself with generous helpings of the fake blood whilst brandishing my tightest of witters. With a glob of questionable meat-like substance in hand, I'm to skitter out of the bedroom akin to Andy Serkis, while making deep slow inward chittering noises, and twitching my head like a bird. Note, I'm Canadian less potential for gun-based burglary. I'm a person with high paranoia, I always sleep with my dogs nearby, but I recommend getting a dog with a booming voice, keep a light on in one of the rooms for the night, keep everything valuable in a very very hidden room, preferably attic. They mostly burglarize during day, when people are out, install better locks, and if possible have something to keep your windows in check. Cameras, always cameras. Keep a weapon nearby, one that you think, will come most in handy, keep it in hand reach. Kept getting my bike stolen, when I left it outside my front yard. 
Around the third time it happened, I put thumbtacks on the seat, face up via duct tape. It must have worked because I found my bike smashed to pieces in the alley down from my home. If it kept getting stolen why did you keep leaving it in your front yard? Why not put it out back, bring it inside, or get a couple bike chains to lock it to something and loop it through the wheels of the bike so they can't take the wheels. I watched sort of interview with home burglar link. He pointed that signs for wireless alarm for the house is good way to scare the experienced burglars because they know they can't beat it. Having a neighborhood watch is great way to scare away the unknown people just by someone being present on the streets. Don't be afraid, in case of invasion lock yourself and your relatives and call 9 double one. Put chair at the handle of the door to prevent force entry. Motion sensors and a switch on remote control that turns off any lights in the house and garage. Strategically placed square carryable TVs from the 80s and 90s, like beach TVs were, up high in the corner of the room that looks like a security camera, when it's not on, when it's not playing the puppet from Saw. Pitch black. TV turns on. Static, then. Hello there. Welcome. I want to play a game. Laser pointer shined on them, they will think it's attached to a gun. Also a very bright flashlight underneath. Put them into shock. While they're distracted, have your room at, so sneak up behind them, and whack em with a baseball bat. This is the most horrible piece of advice yet. Let's be honest here. Advice like this is going to get someone killed. That's true of pretty much all the responses here. Wasp spray. Sprays 20 feet, and will blind him. Combine with a blowtorch to create a 20 foot tongue of flame. Would not suggest for indoor usage. Aren't break-ins usually indoors? I think they are asking about deterrence from possible attacks, not defense mechanisms in lieu of a gun. Gun only works as a deterrent in countries like America, where it's assumed everyone has one.